this video, we'll show you how Conga CPQ and Zillion integrate, so a pricer can strategically update and manage their prices in Zillion, and a sales rep can easily see those prices in Conga CPQ in the quoting process. During this demo, we'll be flipping from a pricer using Zillion and a sales rep using Conga CPQ to show you how these two solutions together can provide first-class pricing and quoting to your team. We'll begin as the pricer in the Price IQ strategy interface. The strategy interface allows the pricer to make adjustments to the original model that was set up during the implementation of Zillion's price optimization. So during that initial implementation, we'll work with you to define the attributes that drive price response. You can see a subset of those attributes here, like product category, customer spend, and region. And through that process, we set a baseline scenario that optimizes all of your prices. But what's really great for you as the pricer is that from this baseline, you can create different what-if sandboxes or scenarios to fine-tune the model to address triggers in your business. In this case, I've created a what-if scenario, and I'm testing different P&L objectives for my overall product family, as well as getting specific with different segments. I also have the ability to manage different prices for customer spend. For example, maybe I want to set or give my larger customers more favorable pricing than my smaller customers. Again, setting the overall strategy for my paper division and then specifying exceptions. I can also set relationships based on good, better, best. I can see set how much these price difference can be between the different ranks. Before optimizing these prices, I'll click on visualize to see the potential impact that my changes will have on my business. My scenario dashboard shows me KPIs about the different scenarios that I've created, showing me price change, margin change, revenue change, etc. I can also see that I am not peanut butter spreading the price change. Some of my customers are receiving a price decrease, some of them are increasing, and some of them are actually staying exactly the same. I can click into the product dashboard to see more details about which products or customers are receiving the price change. Now I'll go ahead and publish these prices and we'll switch to a sales rep and walk you through how to create a quote and see optimized guidance using Conga CPQ. Okay, now we're in Conga CPQ. You'll see we have a home, we have accounts, opportunities and proposals. Let's go into our opportunity. We'll select the opportunity and on the opportunity, notice on the right hand side, we have a quote button. Once we select this quote button, it will create a new quote for us and put us right into the cart. The cart will then provide, provide us a catalog of products and services that we have available, and we will start selecting our products and services. Here is the cart. On the left-hand side, you'll see there's certain things that I can select to filter information down, sales, CRM, or support. I can even filter down by saying, give me small business or medium business. These are all filters to enable your sales organization to easily find information. Let me go ahead and add a contacts edition. As you can see, I've selected it and it's starting to add it to the cart up here on the top right. So you'll see a number one and that will increment as I add products. Let's go ahead and add the sales corporate also at the same time. Now, I could continue to stay in this, this catalog, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can also do search. We'll search for a BL420. Simply hit the enter key and we will just get the listings of that product. So here's my blade server right here, the 420 standard. We'll add that to the cart also. We want a, a DL160, so we'll search for that and add that to the cart. The last thing we want is some, some uh, training. So tier one university we're looking for. It'll be down here on the bottom and we'll add that. Now notice up here on the right hand side, we now have five items in the cart. We're dynamically gathering the pricing, the configuration items, and we're calling Zillion for some additional pricing information. Let's drill into the cart and see how that has shown up. So as we sit here, you'll see that we have a list price. This comes from Aptis CPQ. However, you'll see a start price, which is a recommended price optimized pricing from Zillion. There's a target price, which is where they want us to eventually end up in the deal, and then a floor price. Alternatively, there are promos and promo discounts, and then an actual end date. So we can here start doing things and modifying the prices. So in my case, I could apply the target price, or I could start doing adjustments to that price. 
So at this point, we have all the pricing that has come back from Zillion. We're going to take a pause here and we're going to turn it back over to the pricing person in this organization so that they can make changes. And then we will come back here as the salesperson and we'll go ahead and reprice this and we'll get this information. Back as the pricer, I'll show you how you can use Price Manager to make additional adjustments to the negotiation prices produced by Price IQ. When I log into Zillion, I'll see a list of my different workbooks. Each of these workbooks help me manage different prices for different situations. For today, we're focused on fine-tuning optimized prices, but other examples would be managing my list prices, matrix, or customer price agreements. Let's open up my CPQ Negotiation Prices Workbook. In this workbook, you can see that I have many segment prices. Each of these records below represent a unique price for each segmentation attribute. You'll see those similar segment attributes that we saw earlier, product, region, industry, customer spend, and order size. Price Manager gives me the tools to see optimized prices and fine tune the results as I need. Fine tuning and optimized prices are helpful to react to triggers within my environment, such as excess inventory that I'm seeing right now, specifically in my hardware category. In this case, I want to increase the discounts I'm offering for hardware to incentivize my customers to buy the excess inventory from my warehouses. So I'll filter this long list to only the product category and override my start discount. I'll mass update the start override column and take the optimized start discount and add 2%. Because of the real-time integration, these changes are available immediately in CPQ. But before we end, I want to show you one more update. Because we're looking at prices based on customer, product, quantity, and time of day, we can use this data to make different types of price updates. For example, let's say I want to offer a promotional discount for a designated amount of time in response to changes in the market. I can enter a new promo discount of 5% on my hardware product category. Zillion's engine can support more complex pricing with all of these items interacting. Let's click on the Price Simulator tab to see exactly what shows up in CPQ. I've entered the customer and the product from the quote in the simulator. Here you can see how the discounts build up to determine a final price to display in CPQ. Zillion can provide the entire price build up in CPQ or just the final price like we do here. For our BL420 product, I'm seeing 4892, 4809, and 4568. Let's switch back to the sales rep in Conga CPQ to see the price updates. Okay, I'm a salesperson. Let's go ahead and show how the real-time integration works. I'm going to simply come up here and hit optimize price. Now notice that some of these prices, you'll see no yellow dots in here at this point, which means that's what we got from the first time we called the optimizing price engine. As we refresh this, the prices will come back and you'll see that they've been modified in real time. This is a real time integration that's happened. So you'll see now that it's let me know that the target price includes promotional discount, which will end promotion date. So you'll see that there is ending on the promotion dates. You'll see that not only has the BL420 start prices changed, but so has the target and the floor. And that includes the DL160. All three of these have changed. So a real-time integration with the back-end system. Let's go ahead as a salesperson, let's make some changes. I'm going to apply the target price for the first two products and just simply hit reprice. That will take the target price and move it right into the list price of the quote. Now we're going to modify the DL160 and the BL420, and we're just going to do some price overrides. But based on the recommendation from Zilliant, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make this 4800 uh, on this, this product. And then this one here, we're going to make it 2400 And we're just going to override these prices. So as you see, it applies the prices. It's going to run it through and do all the calculations to let me know where I'm at as a score, which means how close my pricing is to the target price. And of course, you'll see here, I'm 68%. If I scroll a little bit to the right, you'll see that we have guidance here. And then right here, and then on the left, you'll see that we are having approval required. So it, because this has gone below a threshold that's available in the approvals engine, now we're asking that you go get an approval in the application itself. Hopefully you were able to see how Conga CPQ and Zillion work together to enable price managers to strategically update 
and manage their prices and seamlessly make those prices available in Conga CPQ. To learn more, reach out to us today.